Hi guys. Ah, um, scrap run has come around. We've got two IBC pods on the front of the ute, full of steel. Um, back here we have two round drums of, well there's one right here and another one further in. Um, cast alloy, bit of steel right there. We've got our aerosol cans and everything on here. So that's ready to roll. We've got a dirty extruded alloy there. Bit of steel there in a the drum, which I'm going to leave the drum. Uh, but all my plastic drums, I'll be bringing them back. Uh, back here, we have all of our pressed up aluminium. All ready to roll. There's 81 kilos there. I measured it out myself, weighted I should say, <laughs> uh, and when it comes to this microwave, no point having an empty microwave, fill it full of steel, so that way you can weigh it as it, as it comes off, um, normal aluminium there, that was a big light that thing, mind the dirty hands, been working hard today, um, aluminium radiators, Oh, back down here, mind the shaky camera. Down here we've got uh, copper radiators. They've still got copper radi copper inside them. Uh, and there's a full tub, tub of them there. Uh, don't know whether he's going to be able to take that mower. I've got a whippersnipper I picked up two today. So, um, yeah, I don't know whether they'll take those, but we'll see. Um, all the aluminium wire that I've stripped out in past videos, that sort of thing. Uh, all the extruded clean alloy here. Uh, we've got fridge motors down in there as well. So, but like I said, I'll be taking all my drum, bringing all my drums back. Painted, extruded. Um, yeah, and the list just goes on in there. There's a, um, there's a, um, oh damn, I can't think what it is. A stove. Damn, I cook with the bloody things. <laughs> uh, but anyway, there's a stove down the bottom. I thought, no, I'll just chuck it on. And, um, yeah, so, mind me a bit being a bit grotty. Um, this will be put through tomorrow. Uh, I'll be travelling over a little bit early tonight to camp out a little bit. So I'm there on the dot when they open. So anyway, uh, till then, I'll see you in the morning. Got him on the rotisserie. Rotating fork. Oh, I've been in the loop and that's it. holes in them. Wow. Well we got all that offloaded. Got all the uh, pods all empty. So uh, we're just into doing now I've got to go do a weigh in and um, weigh all the rest out now. Right so far we've weighed everything out. He's got to get another bin which he's just doing now over there so um, yeah all weighed out got everything done had to do rims and everything all separate um, yeah all, all of our stuff's all sorted and got our, all of our rims in here we have our pod sitting here Full of alloy, we're about to empty it. Bin's empty, empty. So far, we're not doing too bad. Not doing too bad at all. That's gonna end up on the floor. You need to go further over.
Yeah. I better stay on the road. Back on the scale, find out how much these things weigh. Fifty-two kilos, those IBC pods weigh. So let's see what we're gonna get out of this. Let's go on first. Three hundred and twenty-eight dollars. Wow. With a total of for today's load, two thousand and sixty dollars. Damn. Damn good. <laughs> right, so this is what we put through. Pressing steel come in at 15, 20 kilos, 15 cents a kilo, $128. Uh, then we come down to aluminium copper radiators clean, uh, 20 kilos, $2.40 a kilo, $48. Then we come down to our aluminium wire pure. That was where it was stripped. Uh, 38 kilos, $3.50 a kilo, $133.30. Uh, come down to our cans that was pressed. No, but yeah, that's the pressed cans. Uh, that's what I mean by pressed cans. That's where we got to and pressed everything up in the press. Uh, or aluminium foil trays, that sort of thing. Forty-eight kilos. Now I did measure it out at uh, eighty. Uh, Forty-eight kilos, eighty-four kilos, I should say. I did measure it out at uh, eighty-one kilos before I left. So, bit of discrepancy in the scales, but I don't mind. Give me a bit extra. Dollar ten a kilo, ninety-two dollars forty. Uh, then our aluminium cans loose. That's all the aerosol cans with the tops cut off. That was 12 kilos. It was a very heavy drum, that one. <laughs> Eight kilos for the drum. Um, dollar, a, dollar a kilo, $12. Still all right to, to grab them, though. Um, aluminium extruded. Now, all the aluminium extruded, uh, we put it all together and that sort of thing anyway. So that means that it all goes together. Uh, painted or unpainted, it doesn't matter. Uh, 152 kilos, $1.95, $296.40. Uh, aluminium radiator is clean. That's out of fridges and that sort of thing with no copper or anything in them. 32 kilos, $1.15 a kilo, $36.80. And we come down to our fridge compressors and electric ballasts. I didn't have any electric ballasts. But that's how they put them as uh, $142, 142, 142 kilos. Geez, that must have been bloody heavy. 50 cents a kilo, $71. That was only the fridge compressors, actually. Aluminium casting um, was 166 kilos, $1.35 a kilo, $224.10. Aluminium rims, same weight, 166 kilos, $1.95 a kilo, $323.70. Uh, brass castings, now I did take the brass, I just chucked it on the front seat. Uh, it was 74 kilos, uh, $3.60 a kilo, so that's $266.40. And we come down to our aluminium domestic. That was uh, the, the big IBC pod. We had 212 kilos of that. Gee whiz. 
and that was a dollar fifty five a kilo two uh, three hundred and twenty eight dollars sixty a grand total i think that is a grand, going to be a grand total of two thousand and sixty dollars and forty cents uh so we had a total weight of two thousand and six hundred and eighteen kilos so all in all that's not too bad it was a pretty heavy load for me to drive over there like i did leave the day before um and camped overnight that sort of thing so that way i got there well actually i was running a bit late i got up late and didn't get there when they opened i was about half an hour later than what i thought i would be so i was a bit tired by the time i got there but anyway that that doesn't matter all pays off in the end and um yeah so with the aluminium extruded like i was trying to explain there when i was going through all that price list there um they do don't worry about putting in the put separating the extruded away from paint and unpainted they just put it all together apparently same as with um all their um aluminium castings i think domestic aluminium they don't worry about whether it's got paint with it or no paint that sort of thing um so yeah that's how they do that um and it looks like they put the fridge compressors and electric ballasts together bit queer but anyway you'd think it'd have you it'd do you'd think it, it, it the way i'm trying to say is you'd think they'd separate it so it went through as a separate separation but no not like the way they're doing it but anyway that was a new experience for me putting that amount through there will be another scrap run coming in probably about a week or two let's hope um <coughs> excuse me um i've got the copper to go through i've got a car i'm taking over that's gonna i'm gonna get 200 dollars straight out for it i asked about it while i was there and yeah they said they'll take the car as long as it's got no fluids in it and um yeah so that's what i'm going to be doing and that sort of thing so anyway um if you've come this far and enjoyed the video everyone don't forget to uh like and subscribe now if you do subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell um we don't push the issue of subscribing you don't have to but anyway on that note i'm gonna end it off there hope you enjoyed this one and i'll see you in the next one cheerio